What's up guys, it's me, Rob Macker, and today we're just going to talk about different things that's happening on the internet. First one I thought I'd pop, uh, point out is the other night, right, I got a notification for a new Josh Dog video. Um, I clicked on it, obviously I hit the like button, as you can see, but uh, some of them doesn't exactly uh, make sense in this photo. Uh, which is the reason why I screenshot it. As you can see, there is, uh, there is 11 views on it, alright. So 11 views, all right, two comments, that seems about normal, right? 23 seconds ago, you know, nothing seems wrong here, except for one thing. If there's only 11 views, how did he get 224 views? Uh, 20, 224 likes. Huh. Let's get into the video. All right, so we all remember STD Proteo, you know, he's been on the channel multiple a few times. I, I, honestly, I can't even remember. <laughs> um, he's been on, uh, you know, he's been on quite a lot. And um, recently, he has come out with a diss track against someone named Taki Boy. Yes, you remember him, Taki Boy. And, uh, yeah, let's check it out. He did this in one day. Oh, yeah, the thing is, right, his name is, like, his channel name is Taki Boy Vlogs. But he doesn't vlog. Hmm. Dedicate your channel to something. At least do it. You are a vlogger, not a reactor, not a leader of a clan. Well, no, at least he tried. <laughs> oh, he failed. Okay, so pretty much, if you, in case you didn't know, Taki Boy went around trying to get people, me, me being one of them, right, to join his clan. I said no. Uh, and it was the XD Sniper Clan. He had like three other names, but they were already taken. Um, and, yeah, so they eventually found out all the stuff he was doing, and, uh, they didn't like it, so they left. Oh, dame drop. Oh, true. Oh, yeah, I shared him out once, right, and nothing happened. If anything, his channel got smaller. Well, not smaller, but, like, it, like, there was no attention at all. Like, it just, yeah. Looked the same. Claims in a few days that you would have taken. He's a 60. This is 39. 61, actually. Also, uh, real quick. Um, just want to point this out. Uh, Mitch has, is like, three, three subscribers off. No, two subscribers off I've ever taken him. In, ca in case you didn't know, I, I, I made a video, right, uh, called Spa uh, Space Clan Intro. Oh, yeah, XD Sniper Clan was, well, the names, so I have to change it to uh, Space Clan. Um, oh. And so, the, the rules that originally didn't try, like, he asked me to do all this stuff for him. Uh, he didn't want it anymore, like, he got me to do all this work, then he's like, no, we don't need it anymore, so I changed it up. Oh. <laughs> what? I want to hear that again. <laughs> oh, that's a good line. That's a good line. Oh, huh. let's hear it again. That's a good so line.
Then she wanted to make shit and pay you with it. Pay you make real content. No shitty expensive kissing cake. That's awesome. Shitty dick pics. Then couch, bitch. Oh! And you know, that's the end, obviously. Make sure you go check it out. It's actually good. Darky boy. Right, he's, he, I, obviously, I, I can't hear the messages. Uh, all of them. I don't have all of them, but, um. Yeah, so he's been talking to Mitch, because I've blocked him on Instagram. And apparently he's working on a diss track for me and Mitch. So, subscribe to Mitch's channel. You may, may see me on it. <laughs> Let's go to the next topic. Okay, the last Lamaraz video we haven't reacted to yet. The Roommate Animated. Uh, I, I skipped over the sponsor, but, you know, whatever. Who cares? Tell him to destroy the video. Looking for a new roommate is always a daunting task. Even though you interview and take the time to get to know that person, you don't truly find out who they are until you start living with them. I had begun searching for a roommate after I decided to leave my current residency. I was contacted a couple of hours after placing Is a that person behind him? Until you start living with them. Hold on. I had begun searching for a roommate. Look out the window. There's someone sitting. They look dead. I was contacted a couple of hours after placing an ad on the hmm. Facebook Marketplace. The message read. Hey Chris, I'll be moving out of my current apartment this August and I'm looking to room with someone new as my roommates are moving to California this year. I'm 27 and I'm... I know this is really off topic, kinda. I know it's had nothing to do with the story. But why do... Why does the word llama have two L's at the start? Just saying. I'm currently going to school. When I'm not at school, I enjoy hiking and watching movies. I also apprentice at a taxidermy shop on the days I don't have class. Hope that's not weird. It's always been a fun hobby of mine. Anyway, I'm looking forward to hearing back from you. Have a great day, Lunaire. My first and most obvious reaction after reading the message was to check her profile. She was a medium height, had long, messy blonde hair and green eyes. In her profile picture, I saw her standing with a man and a woman, shoulder to shoulder. They each adorned goofy grins and held up peace signs. Under the photo, the caption read, But my roommates, I smiled to myself and decided to send her a message back. <laughs> Look, she's Some watching her now. Through the window. Objects to the second floor of our new apartment. It took us a couple days to get everything out of the moving trucks and into our new place. But as soon as we having trouble with that box. Relief washed over our drenched and sore bodies. Well, it's the whole room in that one box. So yeah, a lot of hours, trouble with it. Arranging, oh, we grabbed a beer from the quick plug, I guess. The porch. Duff. We reminisced about old 90s cartoons and what video games we obsessed over as kids. 90s cartoons, Simpsons, Duff. I truly hmm. felt relaxed. Connection or not? That things were going to work out. A week later, I started a new job for a construction company that was owned by a good friend of mine. No, same time as I was getting ready, I heard the front door swing open. That I walked into the living room to see Lunaire and her friend David sliding in a large box. What you got there? I asked. Through a strained grunt, she replied. I bought a freezer to store some of the animals I'm planning on using in my taxidermy work. I hope that's alright. I was obviously hesitant at first, as there was no mention of this happening in the first place, but I eventually accepted and returned to my room to continue getting ready for work. I came home at around 9 p.m. Okay, after having normal. a couple of beers with friends and noticed that the That's the Mario Cube. The okay. The okay, hold on, hold on. I noticed the connection. They said, the other game's obsessed with. You got a video game Mario Cube, right? And uh, old 90s cartoons. And I was a duff. Dear. The Simpsons. Hmm. Low hum Maybe could just, be heard reverberating just saying. the inner walls. I was curious to see what was inside, but didn't want to that intrude on his dead. business. So I went into my room and changed into more comfortable clothing. After changing, I that came back out off. into the kitchen and started making a sandwich. I opened the fridge and grabbed what I needed. As I turned around, I stubbed my toe on the edge of the island countertop oh, and went out be nice. along the exasperated front. Through my frustration, I slammed the fridge door shut. And the thing is, it's not like you can yell at people, so you're just like... <clears throat> Checked my toe to see if there was any bleeding. As I raised my head back up, I was greeted by a shadowy figure. Lunaire was standing in the doorway leading to her room. The darkness behind her almost seemed to envelop her. Is everything okay? She said in a deadpan tone. Okay. Shit, yeah, I'm sorry. I just slammed my toe into the corner of the countertop as I was making a sandwich. I hope I didn't wake you. It's fine. She said, 
the same deflated tone as before. She then turned around and walked back into the darkness of her room. I could tell that she was pissed, so I quietly made my sandwich and retreated back to my room as well. Only Where'd the peanut butter come from? from the freezer as I closed my door. I had the next day off, so I was able to sleep in a little longer than usual. When I finally emerged from my room, I walked into the kitchen to make breakfast. As I opened the refrigerator, I noticed that the light wasn't turning on and there was a lack of cold air escaping from inside. I turned around and flipped the light switch to confirm my suspicion. Sure enough, the power was out. Damn it, I muttered under my breath. I walked over to Lunaire's room and knocked on her door to tell her about the power outage if she didn't already know. There was no answer. I then remembered that she had classes that day and probably wasn't home. I walked back to the kitchen and passed the pantry. As I did, I slipped on the floor but was able to catch myself on the countertop. What the? I angrily exclaimed as I looked down at the floor trying to figure out what I had slipped on. It was blood. It oh my god, it's it on the mouth the apparently. Mm. The floor. I quickly That's tried awful. to open the freezer to find out the cause of the viscous liquid, but then I noticed that it had a padlock attached to it. I don't remember seeing that before. I ran out to my car and my toolbox from the back seat. I approached the freezer and set my tools down on the nearby countertop. I then pulled out a small pair of bolt cutters and snapped through the metal of the padlock. It fell to the ground with a large thud. I creaked open the top of the freezer and was greeted with a putrid stench that permeated my nostrils. I quickly pinched my nose and walked away gagging in response. I guess I should have realized that was going to happen. I muttered to myself in between gags. After gaining my composure, I grabbed some gloves from under the sink and started taking inventory. I could see a couple of dead birds in plastic bags wedged into the corners of the freezer. I took each bag out and set them in the trash can nearby. That's when I noticed that the blood was coming from the corner of the larger black bag. I don't know why, but I decided to open the top of the bag and peer inside. Was greeted by large milky white eyes. What kind of animal is that? Tongue surrounded by cracked and bloated lips. What kind of animal wears nipples? Human head. I kind of animal is a human head? And fell backwards onto the floor. My breathing had ceased to exist, and I grabbed the trash can next to me and expelled my disgust into it. I then ran out the door, oh. got into my car, and called the police. As I sat in the interrogation room with a blanket over my shoulders, I couldn't help but think about the face I'd seen. It looked so familiar. That's when it finally hit me. I pulled out my phone and looked at Lunaire's profile picture. It was her old roommate. The one she said was moving to California. When the detective entered yeah. the room, she started the questioning process asking me if I started noticing any weird behavioral occurrences around the apartment. Yes. Yeah, I stubbed my toe the other day and she creepily stood in the doorway. It seemed like she was pissed, but for some reason I had a strange feeling like she was concerned about something. That's when I connected the dots. She didn't come out into the kitchen because she heard me stub my toe. She came out into the kitchen because she thought I slammed the freezer instead of the fridge. A cold oh. sweat started to form on my forehead as my surroundings you became ready blurred. To kill you. I could hear a low whine slowly starting to cover up the words of concern from the detective. As my vision started to clear, I could see another officer enter the room and whisper something into her ear as he handed her a piece of paper. He did it. Do you have somewhere you could stay at? She asked. I mean... I was planning on staying with my parents. They live about 30 minutes outside of town. Okay, she paused. Listen, I don't want to worry you, but we found this picture inside of your apartment. She slid the piece of paper across the table, and I immediately felt like someone kicked me in the chest. The head of Lunaire's other roommate sat on the chair. The background scrawled on the wall in blood red left my roommates. All of them. Okay. That woman is crazy. Uh, at, at all, at no point did they say they called her. Uh, I, yeah, see, the rest. 
you know, it, it's not the story's not going to continue on. It's just going to be a sponsor. And Does this ever happen to you? See. You find out about an awesome show, so you grab your snacks, click on the video, and then sponsor. Anyway, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye bye.